In this video, we will learn how to configure the Desmos Embedded Calculator for single questions as well as sets of questions with Lumen Ohm. We are currently in our course and we want to first add an embedded calculator to a single question. We can scroll down to Module 1 and see our pretest assessment. We select the gear icon for our assessment and select questions. A new window appears and we want to add a calculator to our first question. We select the Action drop-down menu for question 1 and select Change Settings. This opens up the options to modify the question settings. We look down and can see the option question of Show Embedded Calculator. We have the options to Use Default, No, Basic Calculator, Scientific Calculator, and Graphing Calculator. We want this first question to have a basic calculator, so we select that option and then select the Save Settings button at the bottom of the web page. We are brought back to the screen that shows all of our questions within our assessment. We then scroll down to the bottom of the web page and select the Done button. We can now enter our pretest assessment, and we can now see that the first question in our assessment as the calculator option for the student for this one particular question. We can see that the other questions in our assessment do not have the calculator option added. We also have the ability to add the embedded calculator to multiple questions within an assessment. We go back to our course page, select the gear icon for our pretest assessment, and then select questions. We again can see all of the questions within our assessment here. Our first question currently has the basic calculator added, but we want to add the scientific calculator to some other questions. We select the checkbox mark for questions 2, 3, and 4, and then select the Change Settings button. We see the three questions are present in our new window. Under the column Show Embedded Calculator, we can see which calculator we would like to have for each question using the drop-down menu for each question. We select these three questions to have the Scientific Calculator and select the Save Settings button. We also want questions 5 and 6 to have the Graphing Calculator embedded. We repeat the process by selecting the checkboxes for questions 5 and 6 and select the Change Settings button. We then change the Embedded Calculator options for each of these questions to Graphing Calculator and then select the Save Settings button. We then are brought back to the previous web page, and we scroll down to the bottom to select the Done button. We can now view our assessment by clicking on the pretest assessment and starting the assessment. We can see that question 1 still has the basic calculator. Questions 2, 3, and 4 have the scientific calculator embedded within each question that can pop out if needed. Questions 5 and 6 have the graphing calculator embedded as well within each question. And again, these calculators can be popped out, resized, and moved around. We can also see that question 7 has no calculator option for the student. We now know how to configure the Desmos Embedded Calculator for single questions as well as sets of questions with Lumen Ohm.